How are you all doing today? <laughs> Having a good time? Yeah. So my name is Tony Megman, founder and CEO of Believe Design Innovate Laboratories. Because if you don't believe, how do you design and innovate? Today we're going to talk about the media bit, a connected device for TV viewing insight. It knows when the TV is on and how long it is on. It is our first product in a series of products. We want to be an IoT company that makes life simple for everybody. Connect your devices directly to your smartphone. Pretty simple, and that's what we're going to do. Why do we want to do this? It's because the market potential. Cisco estimates that 50 billion connected devices will be around by 2020. IDC estimates that the revenues will be $7.1 trillion worldwide. We want to get in on this action. But why track TV? Well, the average American watches four hours a day. That equates to two months a year. And in an average lifetime, 13.3 years of your life glued to a TV screen. Now that's a lot of time. And time is your most valuable asset. So we create MediaBit, connected device for TV viewing insights. Manage your time, be transparent, and stop arguing with your children or your significant others about their TV viewing habits. It's simply no. The MediaBit itself is a small phone-sized device, plugs in the back of the TV and the HDMI port. It's USB power, cloud connected. And if it's ever unplugged, we have circuitry and software for tamper detection. The ecosystem of the media bit makes it so that every TV can talk to every smartphone and every smartphone can talk to every TV. This makes it so that if your son Nathan has watched two hours of TV, you can get a notification pushed to your phone telling you that Nathan's watched two hours of TV. We want to be like Nest. We want to start with the media bit like they started with their thermostat. The backbone that drove the thermostat was capable of driving so many other products. They added a smoke detector. They purchased Dropcam, and they opened an API. We're going to do all the same things at EDI Labs. And if you didn't know, in 2013, Nest was purchased for $3.2 billion by Google. Very forward thinkers. This market is coming. So again, my name is Tony Megna, founder and CEO. For the last 10 years, I built state-of-the-art equipment for the Defense Department, in particular, satellite and military uh, communication radio systems for the US Army. Our CTO, which I'm very excited to have on board, is Liju Palai. And what he's going to do is he's going to make sure we have the most state-of-the-art web and mobile architectures. He's also not new to startups. And even better, he's located in India, what gives us the benefit of a 24-hour build cycle. So when I wake up, I work. When I go to bed, he works. BDI Labs never sleeps. We also brought on an advisor, Bob Lockyer. Very excited about that. He's going to help us avoid the pitfalls that so many early startups fall into. He's currently the VP of Jive Communications and also has experience as an angel investor. There are other products in TV tracking. None of them are smart connected. They can't give you notifications. They're hot on equipment because they simply cut the power. And their user interface looks like it's from 1991. Our business model is straightforward. $30 the first month to help cover the cost of the unit, $5 a month every month after. In an order of $1,000, our cost of goods sold, $25. With this model, we're going to be profitable in 14 months and break even in 20. A snapshot at 36 months, we find these results very reasonable, and I have a font issue, but uh, we want to be in 0.1% of homes. That's a tenth of a percent of U.S. family homes. We finally can get there. at 78,000 users and that gives us a cumulative EBITDA of 2.8 million and a month, free monthly cash flow of $381,000. We 
We also filed for a patent this summer, so we have a we're patent pending, because we don't want our technology simply to live in the media bit. We want to license our technology. We want to talk to the Chromecast, the Apple TVs, the Roku boxes. We can integrate with anybody. Last year, we found, found, uh, founded our company. We rolled out a pilot program for people to experience it. We also funded a Kickstarter already. And we're going to deliver those units in early 2016. Then we're going to evaluate that feedback, update on the fly, out in the field, because we have that capability, as well as our core software. Then launch a marketing campaign and be in 1,000 homes with 1,000 active users by the end of 2016. So we're awarded this launch pad funding. We have five key milestones that can be evaluated, and it's mostly research and development. We want to continue to build and perfect our web app. We want to do the same thing for our smartphone apps. We want to, you know, same thing, perfect, build, and get our hardware awesome. Then we're going to do our first manufacturing run of 1,000 units. And then we're going to launch that marketing campaign that I talked about as well as hit a few trade shows. In total, we're looking for $97,000 to make this product an absolute success. And we are very pr proud of this product, and I hope you are too. Please come see me afterwards if you're interested, questions, comments, anything. If not, here's our contact information. Thank you for your time.